Hello there, YouTubers. So I fancy to do a bit of a video on Bodhi Linux. Now, Bodhi is a very light distribution for netbooks, old computers. Roughly, I think that's around what it is about. Uh, so, as you know, I've been playing around with it <laughs> um, and getting used to around Bodhi Linux. Now, what I know of is that Bodhi Linux is probably only from about three to four useful applications that most people pretty much would be using it. Um, I think it's more of an internet based distribution so I think recommendation if they add more web apps it would be quite useful for a netbook because um, it is light as for a netbook or a, or a, or an old computer as such and it will probably run very nicely around that. Um, so first off we got the menu Bodhi Linux which is the application uh, accessories and you get Archive Manager Leaf pad and uh, LX terminal. There's pretty much the three applications you'll have. Uh, preferences you have a login configuration, network connection, and Synaptic package manager. So if you have a want to download a package or install a package, that's where you'll go. Synaptic package manager. Uh, not very good for easy users though, because Synaptic package manager has so many different different apps, and some of those apps that most non-Linux users out there may not know what they are or what they do or what they can do or can't do. So they'll install, install something that they may not understand or what they do not know what to do with it. Uh, on the internet, Medora, a web browser and network, which is quite good. Uh, system tools, enlightenment, free man uh, file manager. So you've got an enlightenment file manager which is quite light and, and gets things done quicker. Navigations, you have home, which is desktop, you have nothing. By default, in desktop you'll have uh, nothing. Favorites, you'll have nothing and root well, it's just the root partition really so you basically get all the root stuff in home body desktop nothing uh, and you got everything else run everything so you got run everything which is basically like an application big application menu for people who like something big like a bit of a big menu such I mean I'm not sure what's wrong with right click but yeah if you go in front left click so right click for your left click you get the menu just like you can get an X face when you right click um, so that's quite good but I'm not sure really what point in it run everything anyway uh, take screenshot so you can take a screenshot of your desktop uh, desktop you can change and add widgets which is quite fun part um, if you really 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 like KDE uh, but, you, you, but your graphics card can't handle the KDE environment uh, this is perfect for you or perfect for the computer anyway because um, I've got widgets you see you can add to the system so uh, you can add menu or that get that to the dock or you can add whatever you can add your own little widgets to make it in your own little way of how you want to run things so it's quite good uh, Windows uh, <clears throat> well first I've got virtual so you've got virtual desktops you can have as many virtual desktops as you want you can have like loads or none at all I've applied for none the one for now. Um, <coughs> the shelves is basically these panels. You can add them more or you can delete more. It's up to you. Uh, show and hide or windows. So you can hide or show. Uh, you can show hide or windows, of course. I'm not showing you. You can clean up all windows. So if you've got windows running like Midori. So you got Midori running. I'm believing this is what it does. So give me a state leaf. Say like you got Midori running and the terminal running at the same time. Door running at the same time, you could go into window and you could clear them all up. So I'm thinking that gets rid of them, right? I don't know, but um, I think you can like cross them, cross that one, um, and cross this one, like cross them both, really. Uh, that's what I think it meant to do anyway, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I don't know what it really meant to do, but. That's what it does, it cleans up windows, makes it a lot easier, I guess. Um, about about the Boti Linux, quick start. I'm guessing the knowledge you need to know you could do with um, well with Boti Linux and what you can and can't do and what's it all about, what it can do, and all that stuff. So <coughs> yeah, that can help. Um, you got add software and artwork. Uh, enlightenment, you've got about, about themes, restart and exit, system panel, 
Yeah, so system panel is this a uh, bit, bit like X face it does remind you of X bit of X face and a bit of KDE mixed together and made this like the desktop which just that's what it kind of reminds me of so it's kind of mashed LX, uh, LXDE and KDE together and made this desktop so it reminds me of anyway so that's quite good um, model models modes 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 um, presentations presentation and offline I'm not sure what these do okay presentation and uh, offline what's offline okay so we're offline for some reason but we're offline you've got more control over your settings basically and so that's quite good so offline we're online now we're on my mode and now we're off the presentation as well so yeah Gadgets. I think it's those widget things you can add. Uh, modules, modules. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Still don't know what sure what it is. So I'm guessing it's like a system monitor thing again. Uh, quite a good thing for that. So you got more controls over your desktop basically. Uh, themes. Got different types of themes. I'm guessing that's quite good. Nice theme there. So what else themes have got? Uh, that's all right. That's quite nice. Don't you think? Yeah, that's quite nice. It reminds me of like a um, what is it? Um, oh, um, Android. Reminds me of Android with the jelly bean sort of thing going, or well, jelly bean look sort of thing. So yeah, quite reminds me of that really. Um, <coughs> so systems. Themes. You can change the themes. You can change wallpapers. So, uh, system. Change system wallpaper. You can add like some of these little nice little wallpapers there. Yeah, it's quite nice. So we've got roses and flat. So quite good. Quite good. Yeah, it's quite a nice little desktop to play around with. Uh, if you're really interested in Bode Linux, uh, we'll give it a try yourself in a virtual box. And if you really, really want to install it, I recommend trying this on a netbook or a little old computer, more like thing. It uh, downside to uh, um, I think it would be nice to have to see a, a nice little pack uh, sof software manager like Ubuntu has, like a software center or something or Linsman, um, like a light what version of it. Um, it would be nice to see that because well yeah it would be really nice to see this because um, <coughs> all it is just snapped it package manager and oh you know I, I don't really like to see the package manager so it would be nice to see um, Bode Linux to see a package manager from Bode Linux which would be quite good all in all 8 out of 10 you know I think it's quite nice and customization yeah not much though but by default quite a lot of customization out there yeah, thanks for your time and have a good day. See you later, guys.